Scarillianda. Ha! Virtual eye camp, baby. Do not attempt to adjust your computer screens, because we are in there. Hey, folks, my name is Steve Prince, and I'm the director of engagement at the Muscarelli Museum at William and Mary. Hey, we have a wonderful show lined up for you today. Today marks our second episode, episode number two. And we're going to do a little bit more exploration in terms of doing cartooning. Now, last class, I shared with you on how to make SpongeBob SquarePants, and I walked you through step by step in the way in which you can take a somewhat complex cartoon character and find the simplistic elements that lie underneath. I talked to you about basic shapes and building from a simple component to build to the complexity and getting all the details that make up this character. Now, that's all wonderful and all good. But I think what is important is is that yes, we need to learn from those who have done things before us, but I also think it's important for us to create our own. So I'm gonna walk you through step by step in making up a character. I'm gonna make this character right before your eyes and just show you some steps on how you can begin to devise and make up your own at home, okay? So are you ready? So what we need is, I need you to get a few materials out and our materials we're gonna need today is just gonna be a pencil, number two, a softer, paper of any size, and you're gonna need an eraser. And that's just not for mistakes. Don't get caught up with thinking about mistakes and that you messed up and so forth, but think about an eraser as a way in which you can help to alter what you're doing and to perfect and get to the heart of what you wanna get across to your viewers. Okay, so you ready? So let's get our materials out. For the workshop, I am going to use a marker so I can have good strong contrast so you can see everything that I'm doing. So in the creation of making up a character, you wanna to begin to try to think of some kind of foundation of how you wanna work with it. So I, I can go with many different shapes. I can go with a square shape, I can go with a rectangle shape, I can go with a triangle shape, I can go with a circle. I think I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna make like a bean shape, okay? So that'll start off with a head. And typically a cartoon characters tend to have like really large heads because that makes them a cartoon, that makes them a little funny. So I'm gonna start off with a bean shape. So I'm keeping it nice and light, and I'm going to work out the shape, and there's my bean shape. Boom, and boom. Keep it nice and light, folks, and keep your line nice and fluid as you lay your mark down, okay? Later, when we get further into this drawing, we'll go back and we'll accentuate this line, and we'll make it stronger. The word accentuate means we'll make it darker as we go on. So that's a good start. Now, another thing I want to do is I want to begin to kind of figure out what is the body going to look like? And what are things I think would be helpful is to define the body with line. Okay? So I'm going to begin to figure. So I'm going to have my character's body. That's going to be his torso and stop it at the bottom of his pelvis. And then for his legs, I'm going to have one leg come across. I'm going to have another leg come down. And that's going to be his knee. And that's going to be his other knee and how it works in here. And then I'm gonna work his arms and cross over that little stick figure-like character and put one arm up here and put one arm up over there. Now, that little skeleton that I basically begin to define, that's gonna be underneath everything and that's gonna help to define your character. We're gonna make, we're gonna actually add some meat and muscles to those bones and make it stronger and begin to develop it. Now, I'm gonna start with the head again. I got the bean-shaped head, and I want to make some nice eyes. And so I'm going to go with some nice, big, kind of ovular-shaped eyes, really big and really exciting. If you think about your cartoon characters, they always look overexcited. They're like this all the time. How you doing? All right? So you're going to make that same kind of happy expression because you want people to be happy about your character. Now, that's unless you're making a character that is evil. Ooh. Yes. So this one, I'm going to make a happy character, not an evil character. So I'm going to pull it around and make it like the shape of the eyes. And then I'm going to put the color part of the eye in and the color part of the eye in. Anybody happen to know what the color part of the eye is called? Absolutely right. It's called the iris. Very good. Y'all so smart out there. Where did y'all learn all this stuff from? Science class? Y'all just so brilliant like that? Awesome, awesome. So we got the iris in, and then I'm gonna make the little dark aperture part inside of that eye, just kind of round it around. Does anybody happen to know what that little dark aperture part is inside the eye is? 
Ah, very good. See that? It's called the pupil. Very, very good. Wow, I got a smart audience out there. I'm loving it. Okay, so as we pull this around, and I got that work there, now I'm gonna begin to devise a nose. Now, SpongeBob had kind of like a pointy little nose on there, so I don't wanna copy off of SpongeBob, so I'm gonna make his nose kind of like a button. So I'm gonna round this nose out, I'm gonna overlap my eye a little bit like that, and that's gonna be the center part of the nose or the ball of the nose. And then I'm gonna create a couple of nostrils on either side of it. So I'm gonna create like a little bump and a little bump. And so now I got a couple of nostrils on there. Now, remember, this is very simple in which you can begin to do, build your character, okay? So you got that worked out, worked out, worked out. Now I'm gonna to begin to build the mouth. Now I can make the mouth small, I can make the mouth really big, I can make the person happy, I can make them laughing. I got all kinds of different expressions you can do. So I'm gonna start off by just kind of making like a really big kind of happy mouth, dropping the mouth down like so. And I'm gonna create like a top lip on it. And I'm gonna create another little top lip on it, pull it over just like that. And then I'm gonna create a bottom lip on my person's mouth. Now, SpongeBob has two big gap teeth in the front. Now you can copy off that, you can make one tooth in there, you can make no teeth, you have all those options what you can do. That's about building your character. So I'm gonna build a number of teeth in my character. I'm gonna pull it across, I'm gonna make like a one kind of big tooth and I'm gonna break it up one and two and three. So now I have several teeth coming across. I'm gonna put a little tongue inside of there, boom, and got that laid in. So you see, I've got the different pieces in there. On the side, I'm gonna make that part to make it look more like a smile and a more like a smile on the side of it. Okay. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some eyebrows. I'm gonna make the eyebrows really big and expressive and have them almost pop off of my characters if the eyebrows almost live independently of my character's head. And then I wanna devise like a little hair. So I'm gonna pull a little hair across and drop it around and down like so. And I got some hair worked out. Hmm, I need some ears. Oh, okay. I'm gonna make some nice big ears on my character and nice big ears on my character like so. Now, if I were doing a real person's ear, I would get all those little details and so forth, but for the cartoon character, because you're doing it over and over again, you don't want to put all those little details in there. So what you typically do is you want to simplify it. Make it really simple and reduce the amount of information that's there. So I'm going to just put a little swoosh across like that, and I'll put a little mark down like that. And that will start to just give us enough to say that's ear. Pull it up, and a little swoosh down like that. Okay. And so we're almost there. So I'm going to add a little chin right up in here. And I got the jawline coming around. So he has like a little slightly double chin worked out. And my character. So you see it just very lightly, piece by piece. You're just building it. So now I'll start to build our character. So let's build his body. So I'm going to make the roundness and the thickness of the neck. I'm going to step that up. I'm going to put a little thick rim of a shirt coming around like so. And then I'm going to build the shirt coming down. And I'm going to pull it across. And I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to pull a little bit of a sleeve, pull it up, and pull it across just like that. So one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and then wrap a curved line around, and then you have a basic shirt, a basic shape of a shirt. So we're going to keep pulling this around. Now we've got to begin to build the arms. And so I'm going to pull the arms and make it almost like a noodle. And then if I want to get the hand worked out inside of there, you know, we have five fingers in terms of how we're drawing a person's hand, but cartoon characters, they tend to reduce the amount of fingers and put them to about four fingers. All right, and so that's common. And you can make four, you can make three. If you want to make it an alien, you can put seven fingers. You have the full range of control over how you want to make your character. So I'm gonna put a little hand coming over here like so, make the thumb. And then I'm gonna put one finger up in the air. He's howling number one, baby, number one. And then pull it on around, and I got his arm coming down. Wham! So you see it? All right, you see how I got that finger? There's a thumb coming around. Boom, boom, boom. And I got the first finger coming up, and I got a second and a third over there. So I got four fingers all together, worked off in hand. So let's go to the opposite side. And so we're gonna pull that on up, pull it on up, and he's gonna have his fingers going up again in that kind of number one configuration. So that's the thumb. And here's the first finger, one, and then pull around and create that next finger, and pull around and create the next finger. Drop it down. 
Got it? Okay. So now we're going to build on here. We're going to put some shorts on the character. So we're going to have some shorts coming across. It's summertime. It's getting hot out there, guys. All right. So pull over here and we're going to pull a little shorts over here. And then now I got the shorts worked in and I got piece by piece worked in. So pull that little curve over, drop it down, pull this little curve over and pull that curve over. And I'm going to give them a little button in the middle right here. You know, make it like a little belt. So make it like a little belt loop and a little belt loop. And then let's give them a round button right there. So again, don't put too many details. You want to keep it pretty simple because this is something that you're going to draw over and over again. And you don't want to miss anything in terms of your character and therefore it won't look like it as much. All right, so now let's build the legs, dropping down. Here's the leg coming here. And now one thing about the cartoon characters, they tend to have really big feet. So there's one foot. And then let's get the next leg worked in, drop down, and let's drop the next foot coming across, and boom. And then you got your feet laid on there. So let's get the shoes a little bit more detail. So roll that bottom little sole across, and roll the bottom sole across, and let's give it a couple of lines on the shoes, give it like some tennis shoes, one and two, Let's curve it on across, let's curve it on across, and then work out the leg coming up. You can have them without socks or with socks. That's all for you to begin to decide. You get to make those changes. I'm gonna put some socks on this character and wrap a little sock coming around like so. Now it's time to go back and start to darken in our lines to make our character's face stand out more and look more like our character where we want it to look. So go around, step those lines up, make them nice and rich and dark. Roll it around. Now I'm gonna get the defining of the iris. Now I'm gonna define of the pupil. I'm gonna leave a little bit of light. So I'm gonna put a little spot of light on it. Darken that in, like so. And for the color part of the eye, I'm just gonna make it really light. I'm just gonna brush my tone across to distinguish a little color for the eye. And then I'm gonna make another little circle right over here. And then I'm gonna darken that in, make it nice and black. And this is the pupil. And then I'm gonna go around the iris. And again, I'm gonna put a little bit of tone coming in here, just using the side of my marker and very lightly brushing it across. And let's step up the eye. Again, coming all the way around. Stop right at the nose, because remember, we got the nose kind of overlapping that. So I'm going to go right around the nose, darken that in, and I'm going to define one little nostril and two little nostrils. You see the character coming in? See how beautiful it is? Now for my eyebrows up top, and I'm going to darken those in. I'm going to come across, make it nice and rich and black, and I'm going to go to the opposite side and darken in my eyebrows and then for the hair remember I came across the top and I made like a little shape of it I'm gonna darken that in all the way across the top of his head and then we pull down now I'm gonna define his ear wrap it around define the inside of the ear you see it coming together? Come on, folks. You got to feel the drawing. You got to feel the beauty of it as it comes into being. You are making this up. I'm making this up right now. This is a character I've never made before. And I'm just giving it life. I'm just adding on little different features. And you can make up your own things at home and create any array of any amount of characters that you want to make. All kinds of things. You can do things from your animals. You can do things from your dolls and from your toys. And you can make them into all kinds of other things that didn't exist. And now they exist because you made them. All right, pull it around. Pull it around. Now I got the top lip. And I got the lip coming across here. Remember, I added a few teeth in there. So I wrapped that around. And I go one and two and three. And it has four. And wrap it around. And then now I'm going to get to the bottom lip coming across. And I'm going to darken inside the mouth right over here. And I put a little line inside for the tongue. Look at my character. He's coming to life. He's coming to life. Yes. 
I got the little chin, the little chinny chin chin coming across down at the bottom. And then I got his neck coming across like this. And I got his collar of his shirt coming across. And then I got the rest of the shirt coming down. Keep it real simple, folks. Real simple. Don't make it complicated. Okay, and then I'm going to wrap around and I'm going to begin to define his arm and coming up. And there's his thumb. And there's his forefinger. Next finger and the next finger. He's howling number one, baby. And let's move on to the next arm. Let's get that nice and dark coming down through here and darken that up right on through here and go around. Step those lines up. Make them nice and clean and crisp. Wrapping on up. Pull it around. Darken those lines. Let's get down to his pants or should I say his shorts. Make that dark over here. Wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around. I'm gonna make it dark right below here so you can kind of see like inside of his pants on the side right there. And pull it up, pull it around. Remember, I gave him a little buckle, little shape, little shape. And then now I'm defining the rest of his socks. And I got his shoes. And then let's put some little lines on the bottom of his shoes and a little lines on the bottom of his shoes. Let's put like a little shine on there. And let's put like a little shine on there. That just makes the shoes look spanking new, look brand new. All right, because my character is kind of like, like a bean head, and so I'm gonna give him a little beanie, all right? And so boom, we'll pull a little beanie over here, just like that. And boom, 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 boom. And then I'm gonna put a B on it. Boop, and boop. And then just to repeat it, because the shirt looks a little blank, let's put a B on that too. So I'm gonna pull this around and boom, and boom, and pull it up, pull it up and up. And now I have a B on his clothing. I'm gonna put a little background kind of line in here. They're coming across. And I'm gonna name my character B. E A and uh, N Beam. All right, that's my guy Beam. Kind of reminds me of somebody. Who said I had a Beam head? Oh, stop laughing. That's not funny. Yes, it is. I do have a Beam head. It's a good thing that you can find laughter and joy inside yourself. And another good thing is, is to love yourself because you're beautiful. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed it, the process of making our own cartoon character. So I want you to remember and never forget, art is all around you. Corelli in the house, virtual art camp. <laughs>